Every year since 1874, the town of Waynesburg in southwestern Pennsylvania has been monitoring the weather on July 29th. They call it Rain Day. Apparently, back in the 19th century, a local farmer told the pharmacist in town that it always rained on his birthday, July 29th. So the pharmacist started to keep a record of the rain on that day. In the late 1930s, uh, they started to get local and national celebrities to make a bet that it wouldn't rain. The celebrities had to bet a hat. In 1947, it was Bing Crosby. In 1955, it was pirate sportscaster Bob Prince. The list is impressive. 1960, The Three Stooges. Twice, it was local TV star Eleanor Shano. In 1981, Channel 4's Joe DiNardo, The Weatherman. And in 1985, The Today Show's weatherman, Willard Scott. Amongst others, 1991, Pittsburgh Mayor Sophie Masloff. In the year 2000, it was Mr. Rogers and Mr. McFeely. 2003, it was Chubby Checker. 2006, Troy Polamalu. And in 2022, they asked me, Rick Seaback, to bet a hat that it wouldn't rain. So on that morning of July 29th, when I left my home in the Regent Square neighborhood, all was dry but slightly overcast. I put the roof down on my convertible Mini Cooper just to show that I was on the side of no rain. My GPS sent me through the Fort Pitt tunnels heading for Interstate 79. So much is made of the view from these tunnels as you head into town, I always think it's good to appreciate the more ordinary view as you head out of town. There always seems to be lots of construction along I-79, but traffic was okay. By the time I got to Mariana, PA, it was raining pretty hard. So I figured I had already lost the bet, but I had to show up in Waynesburg anyway. It was barely drizzling when I got to the Waynesburg exit off 79. I called Mayor Greg Leathers as he told me to, and he and his son Cole met me at a small parking lot in downtown Waynesburg. Now, I've always been a hat lover, so I brought several along as possibilities for this bet. I had one of my dad's old fedoras, a South Carolina beach hat, a jungle helmet that I broke the strap on when I tried it on, and I even had the custom-made Cub Scout hat that I had from when I was a kid, which had to be custom-made because my head was so big. I even brought along my Australian Boy Scout hat that I bought in Melbourne in the early 80s, complete with its snazzy protective wooden carrier. But we both thought that the straw boater that I bought 48 or 49 years ago in Lyon, France, when I was a student there in the early 70s, might be the most appropriate for this summer day in Greene County. The day-long festivities take place in a series of little parks there in Waynesburg. There are several small beauty pageants, promotional booths, and fair food. And it wasn't raining right then. I'm convinced this slightly goofy tradition of rain day is a good thing. It's a great gimmick that helps distinguish a small town. A festival that shines light on a place, even if it's raining. As I got ready to leave, I had to give up my straw hat to Mayor Greg Leathers. Thank you, Rick. You're so welcome. Thanks for rain day. He told me they officially saw rain that morning at 4.22 a.m. In the 149 years they've been watching the weather on July 29th, it has rained 117 times.